Hi, and welcome to Scott and Life Attack the Movies. Today's movie is I Love You, Man. This is a movie about a groom-to-be who needs to find a best man for his upcoming wedding. So you're not gonna have a best man? Um, here's the thing, though. Peter's always been a girlfriend guy. All his dude friends just fell by the wayside. Why is it weird that I had girlfriends? Not that we're just saying you never really had a best friend is all. Well, who's your best friend? Your brother, Robbie. What's up? He's about the coolest guy I know. I'm Peter Clavin. I'm the realtor. Sydney Fife. Hey, check out these two. That guy needs to fart. He does seem to be clenching. Watch the leg. Boom. He farted in my open house. He sure did. I'm thinking it might be a little bit small. Totally, and it smells like fart. Society tells us to act civilized, but the truth is we're animals, and sometimes you gotta let it out. Try it. Ah! Respect the process. Ah! Yeah, you feel better? Yeah. Wanna eat a corn dog? Yeah! Let's go. What do you guys do for seven straight hours? Yeah, Pete! So is he your best man? It's way too early to tell. Sweet, sweet hanging. Truth is, I've been a girlfriend guy, but out of all those girls, you're the only one that wanted me to have my own life. Hey, geek! I just stepped in your dog's crap! <laughs> Peter Ryan! I thought this was a great movie. It had a great story. It really tapped into something for me that is relatable as a man, as an adult. It's, it's harder to make those you know, male friendships as you get older. So for me, I thought it was a great movie, very relatable. What did you think, Life? This whole concept of the mandate that this film you know, plays on, you know, with him trying to find like this new, well, basically trying to have some man friends in his life, I thought it was hilarious. At first, uh, this film worried me a little bit. I didn't know if it was going to be funny. But I laughed a lot, and I just really loved the dynamic between uh, Siegel's character and Paul Rudd's character, too. I really believed that, hey, these guys could you know, work out together in real life. I, I did enjoy the movie, but for me, Paul Rudd does not have the kind of magnetism that a lot of comic actors have, like star in, that, that are in the starring roles. I think Jason Siegel has it. I really don't, I, Paul Rudd just doesn't, he doesn't grab my attention. Hmm. I did not have a problem with Paul Rudd at all, and I gotta give kudos too to a lot of uh, other performances in this movie also. I thought Jamie Presley's character was really hilarious. Uh, her and uh, Jean Favreau, who uh, played like a total dick in this film, which I thought was pretty hilarious. And what I also love, you know, you're right, this movie really doesn't kick in until, uh, you know, Siegel's character arrives on the scene. But I thought the whole scene with um, Tom Lennon doing a little cameo as a gay guy, though I thought that whole scene was hilarious too, because yeah, it's hard when you're a guy and you want to get some new male friends to not make it sound gay when you're asking them out to have some fun. It's, that's exactly what this movie played on because here, here is Paul Rudd's character and Jason Segel's character, they're both straight men, right. yet they're both, they both kind of want to have this relationship, you know, this best friend type of relationship. And it is sort of, um, I mean, a love story between two straight men and I think Hollywood's doing that a lot lately, but this was a good one. This was a lot of fun. A lot of good people, and you really just cared for everybody in this film too. You wanted everybody to have a good ending. This, and you all, you know, that's what I liked about this film. It was, I really felt good about it. <laughs> you know, it was a two-hour movie, and I don't think I ever thought to myself, "Boy, um, I think I'm ready for this movie to end." It's uh, very fast-paced, and it's just a lot of fun. It really made me laugh a lot. And man, Lou Ferrigno, all right, the yeah. Hulk, the Hulk back in action. It can't get any better than that. Yeah, that was really awesome. Yeah. And, and your rating is? Oh, definitely. Go see this on a big screen. Heck yeah. Yeah, I'm going to give it a big screen rating as well. Um, the movie is I Love You, Man. And this is Scott and Life Attack the Movies. I love you, Life. I love you, ma'am. I love you, man. I love you, broski. <laughs>